welcome to lesson 30. The last lesson we eventually got into a bit of guitar playing. Well, not playing, but playing, uh, putting the theory into practice. Let's go back here. It's a uh, Saturday, 19th of July, 08. A little recap on the last lesson before we continue a bit with the old guitar. I'd drawn up um, a diagram of the guitar, the guitar strings, thickest, six, five, four, three, two, one, one being the thinnest. We numbered the frets, and on this green position, we add the eighth position, the eighth fret. Now we've moved all this pattern down the guitar towards the headstock. So basically, we have come, hang on. come from the 8th position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we've come down to the 3rd position here. Now we're going to do that same pattern from the 3rd position, from the 3rd fret, in, the sim in the s exactly the same way as we did from the 8th fret, but this time we're doing a different scale. Let's put the back of here. But before we do that, I just want to point out, right, these strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, start on your thickest bass string. We went through the elephants and dogs grow big ears. I want to show how these strings, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, E, A, D, G, B, E. I want to just recap. Here we have middle C, somewhere roughly on, on your piano or your keyboard, maybe slightly to the left. Find your middle C. Now... You can go to your first string here, it's two, it's just two up from there, that's your thinnest string. You can, now the E is, look for your black keys, your black keys here, it's to the right of the second one there. If you look for this next set of ones, next set of two here, there's another E there, and next set of two here. So you can either go one, two, three, four, five, six, to represent your strings, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got E, B, G, D, A, E. Same as here. E, B, G, D, A, E. Of course, you can go the other way around. Elephants and dogs grow big ears. E, A, D, G, B, E. If you've, once you've found two E, two E's below the C here, in fact, you can actually count them up. If you include that as one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Count fifteen down to there. Basically, I just wanted to point that out. How it covers the strings. We're covering two octaves, incidentally, from here to here to here. Will your guitar will go a little bit higher? We'll go higher from here, open, open first string, so forth. So we originally, on lesson 29, we started on fret number 8, on the last lesson. This gave two octaves of C major scale. This time we're going to start on fret 3. This will be the G major scale times two octaves. So let's look on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show this on guitar in a minute. Get your guitar out, get some paper and a, a pen, draw yourself six lines, emphasize the sixth line as being the thickest. Draw, write in your numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. Write in this one this way around if you want elephants and dogs grow big ears. And just do this pattern starting say you can start on the second fret, but just copy this one, third fret. Just copy them. Do these different colours. Once you get to your fourth string there, on the fifth fret, do that a different colour. Just copy this. Pause it on YouTube and write it out. Practice this. So 
we're going to do the G scale now. Let's put down here. This is the G scale. Natural G to G. A lot G. G A B C D E F G. If we apply the tone tone semitone structure to it, we go tone tone semitone tone tone tone. We end up in an F sharp semitone. There's the F sharp, so it's a G major scale now. So when we're doing this, this represents starting from the G tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone so we're back to a G tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone now that would equate if we were starting to talk about the G A B C D E F sharp G G A B C D E F sharp G A B C D E F sharp G So let's have a little practice of that. I might use a plectrum this time. We'll see how it sounds. It may be a bit too noisy when I look back. Right, let's look for your dots on your guitar. These dots represent the odd numbers, of course. One, sometimes you don't have one, it may just be three. So we've got one, three, five, seven, nine, and then they've equal 12 there. Two dots. For this G scale, we just want to go to the third. Third fret position. Remember, fret zero, fret one, two, three. So we tend to get our fingers just behind that fret wire there. I've wrote here, start by using your middle finger. Okay, let's go near them. I'm hoping that you can see this. And listen, I'm just going to put the light on. Although I'm in the conservatory, it's got a semi-opaque roof and when it clouds over outside it tends to make it slightly dark in here and I want you to be able to see here where my fingers are. Okay, it's a plectrum that I'm using, it's, very, it's quite flexible but I want you to use a heavier gauge one, a thicker one than that. When you're going to start to pick your strings, a bit of a tip, just go like that on your, on your sixth string, I'm just muting at the top, just holding it down. Just go like that and then go to your first string. I'll let go peel off. Guess you're feeling that distance between them. Right, let's go to the G. Third fret. Third fret. So we've got G. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. You could practice coming backwards too if you want. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A. forwards and backwards. Um, when you start doing it a bit quicker than that you'll tend to find you'll do some mistakes. Go back and do it slower. Slow, 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 slow. I will keep reiterating that, keep reinforcing it. So we covered the G scale. In the last lesson we covered the C scale. This one we've covered the G scale. As you go up your fretboard, try from A, B, C, D, E. Try from all those positions. It's exactly the same pattern and you're just going through all these scales. They include your sharps. And you'll work out that pattern works out tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone over two octaves. So we'll